My name is Chris Dearborn from NASDAQ, and it's my pleasure to welcome Darren Jensen, Life Vantage's President and Chief Executive Officer, to the NASDAQ Market Site. We're very excited you can join us during Wellness Week in Times Square, New York, as we get set to ring today's closing bell. Life Vantage is a pioneer in nutrigenomics and is dedicated to biohacking the human aging code. Life Vantage boasts a global footprint and maintains a relentless commitment to helping their customers live longer and healthier lives. In 2019, LifeVantage reported the highest annual revenue in the company's history. Not to be outdone, LifeVantage's stock price has appreciated over 75% over the last five years. And most notably, for the third consecutive year, the company was named the best places to work in the direct selling industry. More than any time in the world's history, everyday people have an ability to take control of their own health. From watches that provide instant monitoring of our vitals to our unparalleled access to cutting edge research to now having mapped the human genome. Even 20 years ago, it would have sounded like science fiction to say that our genome contained untapped abilities to support our health and that one day we would be able to communicate with our genes. But that day is here. This discovery changed the way we at LifeVantage see our fellow humans. You look at a little yellow pill that scientists say could eliminate chronic diseases and help you live well into your hundreds. You might be able to increase the lifespan of a mammal by 50%. And of course, if that was a human being, then that might be in the order of 130 to 150 years. That claim might be hard to swallow, but tonight on ABC's Primetime Live, co-anchor John Quinones takes the promising antioxidant therapy called Protandum. I have become a guinea pig for ABC News in prime time. It's not a drug. It's a, it's a supplement. It's a, called Protandum, and it's a combination of five exotic plants that have been around for centuries. You want to get an edge on turning back the clock with just a few pills? Who doesn't? Well, it's no longer science fiction, but science possibility, a potential breakthrough. As I found out firsthand, there may be a way to erase years, at least inside my body. And as decades of experiments may have the potential of adding years to people's lives and possibly prevent chronic diseases like cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. It all centers around this small yellow pill, and for me, it begins with a blood test. They want to check my levels of something called T-bars, which is a rough indicator of a person's actual age. T-bars can identify a condition known as oxidative stress, a kind of measure of the wear and tear on our bodies. Oxidative stress, like the rusting of an engine, is not a good thing. Bad for the body. Leading to disease. Leading to disease and leading to malfunction and importantly leading to what we call aging. It is a slow progression of increasing oxidative stress. That's the main characteristic biochemically of the aging process. And so here I go. With that swallow, I've just become part of a potentially landmark scientific experiment. Doesn't taste bad. <laughs> It's called Protandum, and tests on both mice and humans have already shown that it revs up the manufacture of those good enzymes in our bodies. More enzymes, fewer free radicals to harm us. Whether that will lead to longer life is still unknown. Experiments to see if mice live longer are about to get underway, but it's a tantalizing theory. So you can see the age-related Normally, oxidative stress, measured by those T-bars, increases with age. But in Dr. McCord's tests, taking just one pill of protandum a day reversed that trend for everyone at every age, even for an 80-year-old. They all are reduced to the level of oxidative stress that one would expect, frankly, in a, in a newborn or a very young child. Back to the oxidative stress levels of a child? It sounds too good to be true. Will Protandum work on me? Well, perhaps. It turns out there is some other promising evidence that seems to back up Dr. McCord's findings. That evidence comes from mice that have been genetically engineered to produce more catalase, one of the enzymes that Protandum increases. The researcher, Dr. Douglas Wallace of the University of California at Irvine, says it had a remarkable effect. We found that they lived, in fact, about 20% longer which is about a fifth of a lifespan. He believes that with better techniques, human lifespan can eventually be extended too. But what about my progress? After nearly two weeks now, it's time to get my results. The result, 
my level of oxidative stress has declined dramatically. 45%, that's, that's excellent. Just look at where I fall on the graph, before and after. Which, if extrapolated back, is, is the level you would see in a newborn baby. Have we turned back the clock? Oh, and one more thing. This is how you feel.